Okay, so we're practicing the five different positions with Hunter on his first day. This isn't fair because he's uh, he's played <laughs> and it shows already. So I have him on the eight board just so he can feel that's the first one. He popped his head up, so he topped it. But as you can see, he has a little bit of a swivel. Good. And show everybody what you're working on with your back swing. Show the back swing. So first of all, when he takes the club back, his hips swivel. Yes, you got to have that swivel. Now look at that club face as he takes it back. From there, yes, he follows through without flipping. So show everybody what I mean without flipping. So look at the follow through that he has as he finishes his stroke. See the club face? It's open still. He doesn't flip it with his wrists. Very important for chipping. And we're just using a uh, nine iron right now, but we went over the different lofts of the pitching wedge, 45 degree, the gap wedge, 52, sand wedge is 56 degrees, and the 60 degree wedge, which is very important. Okay, so now we're in position two. So show me your position of your your hands in two. Go from one, stop, go to, go to one first. First position, now second position. So you cock your wrists and the club face is straight up facing the sky. From there, keep your head still, you swivel through slightly. Good, and look at the hands. See, the club face is still open. This is for a longer chip. This is for your, um, 30 to 60 yard chips, which is huge importance. Whoops, now you almost took that back a little too far. And here's what I mean. You're not really turning your shoulders now. You're just uh, getting your arms in the right positions. Good. Show me that back swing once more without the ball. Right there. Okay, so you take it back through one. So you got to take it straight back. That's important now. Good. See, that's a, that's a power thing. That's where power is generated by getting your, your wrists cocked. And then just a follow through, open club face. So this is the number two position. Okay, now we're in the number three position. So go through it very slowly. Throw the number one. Whoops, let's go to the number one again. Good, now two, now three. Shoulder turn, a little more shoulder turn. There you go. But your head stays perfectly over the ball. From there, don't hit the ball. Just go through, now show me your follow through and roll over just a little. Up a little higher, about right there. So this one, you would roll your wrists over and hit through it. So go ahead and practice a few like that. And this is the number three position. See, it's so hard not to finish that follow through. But see, this is, this is not a full stroke. This is still the number three position. Okay, moved your head, took your eye off the ball. So as you take the club back, your eyes are focused right on that ball. And you, the hard part is not to sway as you swing the club. Even though you're swiveling on the board, you got to keep your head and your upper body right over the ball. That's pretty solid right there. And at all times, you're looking dead at the ball, right at it. Okay, pretty good. Okay, so now we're in the number four position. Show me the number one position real quick. Now the number two. Good, now the number three. Good, now do that again and don't move that head as you turn your shoulders. So number one, number two, number three. Good, swivel, that's pretty good swivel right there. Now you're gonna finish your follow through and follow through to, to about there. And this is the number four position. Pretty good pretty good see and it's hard not to follow all the way through <laughs> because you know we we don't practice 
number one, number two, and number three, and even number four, we practice number five. <laughs> good, that's pretty good. A little too big a follow through, maybe, just a little bit. Just to the number four. And again, everything in golf is feel. So let's say you have 175 to the pin. You know if you give it a full stroke, you could fly the green. So you're trying not to finish all the way through um, just on this particular shot. So a number four follow through. Whoops, that's all right. Little miss hit, so you moved your head as you took it back, it looked like to me, but we'll see it on the video. It's all right. Don't even worry about where it goes. You just look at the ball and try and relax. Your hand right now should just be hanging. That's pretty good. See, and that's an important part. Because once you start to like tennis, too, once you start to do the looky-looky, it gets ugly really quick. That's really good. All right, let's go to number five. Okay, now we're in the number five position. This is the full stroke. And as you can see, he's definitely played a little bit. And so tell me what the board feels like. He can't swing as hard, can't swing as fast, can you? Yeah, so it's really interesting because you have to have perfect balance. So I'm going to tell you a little something about the guy that invented this board. He sold more of these. It pissed him off. He sold more of these for golf than he did for tennis because it's really a good indicator on how important balance is and how important uh, hip rotation and swivel are in golf, as it is in tennis, but even more so, I think, in golf. Look how solid, that's very solid. And you're not falling off balance. All right, let's uh, do a super slow-mo. Normal speed swing? Normal swing. Oh, okay. I thought you were... This is through.
all right.